Well, I've looked after Ed's shows for since day one, really, since back into 2011, and I've always, I've always thought that Ed, as a solo artist, an acoustic guitar solo artist with a pedal board, would work really well in the round. Uh, and I've, I've been nagging him for well, the best part of 10 years to say, you know, do you think you'd be ready to go in the round? And it's not something that you can just expect an artist to to jump into. And um, but at the end of the last tour, the end of the Divide tour. Ed turned to me and said, you know what, Mark? I said, I think I'm ready. And so I grabbed that opportunity with both hands and we, uh, we, I designed a show, in the round show, stadium tour show for him. And uh, it's currently out on the road and he's loving every minute of it. In the round shows, especially in stadiums, because you've got no roof, uh, are notoriously difficult. And they present their own problems that I don't like uh, an artist being obscured by metal posts um, so that they can support a production roof um, and I tried to convince him to have a, a single column like a mushroom that would uh, envelop out and give us a roof for production and he didn't like that idea so I went away to the drawing board and I, um, I came up with the, the cable I came up with the idea of using an existing production technique which is cable net uh, supported by six masts but the biggest conundrum for myself and the team was can we tour it? Can we physically put it up in a couple of days, take it down in a couple of days, have two systems and leapfrog them, and you know, turn it into a business model that would work for a stadium tour? Well, uh, after three months of a lot of uh, engineering drawings and wind tunnel tests and mathematics and all sorts of calculations, I was able to go to the artist and say, you know what, Ed, Stu, we can do this. What do you think? And they grabbed it with both hands but yeah the, the planning side of it was at least three months before it ever went anywhere near the artist as a concept everything that we do in entertainment has got to be budget driven you know it's called show business for a reason so yes it's a very expensive tour but it has to package down properly and that I'll be quite honest with you yeah I designed a, a show that is of great scale but the lads, and I, when I say the lads, Mike and Jeremy and the rest of the team, helped me design it in such a way that it could be broken down into smaller pieces and packaged into dollies and would fit on trucks. So were you reducing the number of trucks that you need?